So I'm going to go ahead and make another video installment. Um, I was requested uh, that uh, I go ahead and explain my temperature setup, my humidity setup, why I do it, and what the reasoning is behind it, uh, especially with the whole, say, 75 for a couple months and lower it for a few more months and then go back up. So, uh, okay, first off, I'm using the Exoterras. They're both right now at 73 degrees exact. That's what they say. Internally, I've checked with my digitals, and they're doing pretty good. Um, you can't really zoom in. Um, this one's empty, but you can see the humidity inside, and I have it at about 80 for both. This one has humidity all up inside. It's doing really well so far. Um, I'll tell you right now, the reason why I do the whole 75 for two months, um, lower it down to, say, 60 or so for another two to three, and then raise it back up to 75 is for diapause. Diapause is uh, critically important from what I've learned with reptiles. They need that small cool-down period. And what that basically just does is it tells the embryo that once it starts to warm back up, that's the time for full growth and to be prepared to basically cut the egg and use your egg tooth and all that stuff. So, But um, I use the Allen Rapashi mix. Uh, the reason why I use that is because it actually shows you when it starts to get kind of too dry. It turns gray rather than being like the dark color that it is right now. Um, as for uh, humidity, it's right around 75, maybe 80. Uh, a little bit more as of right now because it's cooling off outside. Um, for instance, in my room, it's cooler than 75. So they're almost warming up and it's kind of con condensing on the inside, which isn't bad. The, uh, the tops of the, uh, the eggs, the saran wrap and stuff like that isn't actually condensed yet, so it seems to be fine. It's holding a, a good temp. Um, otherwise, for, uh, say, calcium intake for the female before she lays, um, I go crazy and give her a whole lot. Make sure she's well hydrated. Make sure everything is taken care of there. Um, like, for instance, once they're done laying, I also add um, actually a little bit of their calcium to the water in the eyedropper. Just a little tiny, tiny bit, just to kind of cloud the water um, a slight amount. And I give it to them directly so that while they drink it, they're almost basically getting liquid calcium. Not quite the same, but still kind of does the same job. They're ingesting it the same way, and it helps out. And I mean, it's worked for me since I was freaking 12 years old. I'm 30 now, and it seems to work good. I learned from a couple other guys. Uh, kind of like going to these type of forums that really help out. Um, either way, uh, add anything you think I forgot. Um, anything you're, like, questions, anything you're thinking of, go ahead and just ask. Um, I might not make a video, but I'll at least respond. Um, as for me having two incubators, uh, that was an accident. I had an issue with the first one. I called up uh, Exoterra, and they sent me out a second just to make sure. So uh, I do have to say that they have really good customer service. That was really appreciative that they did that. Um, that's kind of cool. But I uh, hope you guys like the vid. And uh, ask me any other questions you need.